What if the most underestimated fighter jet of the 21st century wasn't built in America, Russia, or Europe, but in a quiet design bureau in Chengdu, China? A jet that flies at Mach 1.8, climbs faster than most rivals, and just rewrote the rules of air combat by shooting down a French Rafale, a plane marketed as nearly invincible. This is the Chengdu J-10, a fighter once dismissed as a mere copy now proven in real war. But how did it get here? Was it truly inspired by Israel's canceled lobby? Or is that just a convenient myth to downplay China's aerospace rise? And more importantly, when you pit the J-10C against the F-16, the Rafale, the Su-35, or even India's Tejas, who actually wins? The answer might shock you, because this isn't just about speed or missiles. It's about who controls the future of the sky. The story of the J-10 begins not with a blueprint, but with a bold gamble in 1981, when PLAF commander Zhang Tingfa convinced Deng Xiaoping to fund a homegrown third-generation fighter for 500 million yuan, a move that defied decades of Soviet-style top-down development. For the first time in Chinese aviation history, the end user, the pilot, had direct input, and three design institutes competed openly. Shenyang proposed a F-16-inspired concept based on its canceled J-13. Hongdu offered a variable sweep-wing design echoing the MiG-23, but Chengdu Aircraft Design Institute won in 1984 with a sleek canard delta configuration that bore a striking resemblance to Israel's IAI Lavi, though Chinese engineers insisted evolved from their own abandoned J-9 project of the 1970s, a claim strongly supported by chief designer Song Wenkong, who led both programs. While rumors persist that Israeli engineers secretly aided the J-10's development after the Lavi's cancellation in 1987, and Russian experts later called it a melting pot of foreign technology, the truth likely lies in between. China absorbed global aerodynamic lessons, but executed them through its own digital revolution, becoming the first Chinese fighter designed almost entirely with computer-aided design and computational fluid dynamics allowing the detailed structure to be finalized by 1994, despite limited prior experience. Technically, the J-10 is a marvel of balance, 16.9 meters long with a 9.8 meter wingspan, an empty weight of just 9,750 kilo, and a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 19.2 tons, powered initially by the Russian AL-31FN, but now increasingly by the indigenous WS-10B turbofan, which delivers up to 144 kN of thrust with afterburner, enabling a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.04 and a blistering climb rate of 300 meters per second. Its top speed of Mach 1.8, roughly 2200 km at h at altitude, puts it on par with the F-16 and ahead of many contemporaries, while its service ceiling of 18,000 meters ensures it can operate in the thin air, where dogfights are decided. But raw performance is only half the story. The real edge emerged with the J-10C, which integrates an active electronically scanned array, ASO radar, a low-observable diverterless supersonic inlet, and next-generation weapons like the PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile, capable of engaging targets beyond 200 kilometers, and the high-off boresight PL-10 infrared missile, making it lethal in both beyond visual range and close-in combat. When compared directly to the Dassault Rafale, the J-10C trades twin-engine redundancy and longer ferry range for superior agility, a lower radar cross-section, and arguably more advanced missile kinematics in certain engagement envelopes. During the May 2025 Indo-Pakistani air clashes, this translated into J-10CEs reportedly detecting and engaging Rafales before the French jets could even lock on, a testament to sensor fusion and first-look, first-shot doctrine. Against the F-16V, the J-10C holds advantages in newer airframe design, more modern ASA radar architecture, and helmet-mounted queuing systems that outperform even late-model U.S. configurations in close combat scenarios. When stacked against India's HAL Tejas MK-1A, the disparity is even starker. The Tejas, while lightweight and nimble, lacks the thrust, payload range, and radar sophistication to compete operating in a different performance tier altogether. Even against the formidable Su-35, a twin-engine Russian, heavyweight with thrust vectoring and massive fuel capacity, the I, J-10C has consistently prevailed in PLAF exercises from 2019 to 2021 not through brute force, 
but by leveraging stealth shaping superior situational awareness and networked warfare to strike first and vanish, proving that in modern aerial combat, information dominance trumps raw power. This evolution didn't happen in a vacuum. Pakistan, locked in a seven-decade rivalry with India marked by seven major conflicts, the 1947 and 1965 Kashmir Wars, the decisive 1971 Bangladesh War, the Siachen Clashes of 1984, the Cargill War of 1999, the 2016 surgical strikes, and the 2019 Balakot dogfight, has long sought a credible counter to India's growing air superiority, especially after New Delhi acquired 36 Rafals. After years of failed negotiations for J-10As and J-10Bs, Pakistan finally committed to 25 J-10CEs in 2021, with deliveries beginning in 2022. Their combat debut came in January 2024 during strikes on Balak separatist camps in Iran, but the true test arrived in May 2025. When J-10CEs engaged the Indian Air Force in what became the first major air war of the 21st century and reportedly shot down five aircraft, including three Rafales with U.S. intelligence expressing high confidence in at least two confirmed kills, one of them a Rafale, possibly felled by the PL-15E missile. This wasn't simulation or propaganda. It was a seismic shift in global perception, turning the J-10 from a regional curiosity into a combat-proven export contender overnight. Looking ahead, the J-10 isn't fading, it's evolving. While China's focus shifts toward stealth with the J-20 and J-35, the J-10C remains the backbone of PLAF multi-role squadrons and a flagship export for nations wary of Western political strings. It started as a symbol of China's technological insecurity and has become proof of its aerospace maturity. It flies faster than critics claimed, sees farther than rivals expected, and fights smarter than anyone predicted. And if it can down a Rafale today, what will it do tomorrow? when fused with artificial intelligence, drone swarms, and satellite warfare. One thing is certain, the age of unquestioned Western air dominance is over. The dragon has taken flight and it's just getting started. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the J-10C, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more, and share it with others who want to know how the dragon challenges the West in the skies.